All right, so I'm just gonna, I already applied a primer to my eye, so I'm just gonna start with the transition color in the crease. So I'm gonna use Soba from MAC, and it is that color. It's just um, a light tan. There's not a lot of shimmer to this color. And that's just gonna go in our crease. Make sure you can, okay, you can see still. So. We're just gonna dust that and windshield wiper all over the crease, taking it to the inner corner and bringing it all the way out. And I'm just following my natural crease if you don't have a crease, you can just follow your natural eye shape unless you want to like change your eye shape and like drag it out. Um, which I'm doing just a tiny bit on the edge. Okay. And then do that to the next eye. And we're just lightly going over the skin. I'm not like pushing hard into it. I'm not sweeping hard. It's just lightly dusting it over. So it should kind of like almost tickle your eyelid. And then you know that you're doing it correctly and you're getting the most payoff for um, the color. You can swirl it in back and forth motions, I mean in circle motion, back and forth, I don't know what I'm saying. Oops. And I'm just using a MAC fluffy brush. Looks like that. Okay. Then once you've done that, we are going to go in. I'm just kind of winging it because I don't have like set colors in mind. But we're going to go in with this Cocoa Bear color by Makeup Geek. It's just, it's close to soft brown. Um, for the MAC, but it's this color right here, um, kind of almost, you can get away with Swiss chocolate from MAC, it's just a really rustic brown that's a MAC color. We're just going to kind of focus more in on the crease and not bring it up as high as we did with the Soba, the first color. And that's just going to add dimension. And we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. Remember, we're just focusing it on that crease and not bringing it up as high as we did with the first color.
next we are going to take this color from MAC and it is called Steamy and it's a frost. I'll show you the shade. I don't believe they have it anymore but it's almost like a mermaid green. Um, Makeup Geek has it and MAC has similar colors so it looks like that. And we're just going to grab a Sigma small tapered blending brush in the E45. Just gonna grab some product on the brush and we're just gonna place it right here. So below the cocoa bear color. Just to give us a little bit of green. I was kind of inspired by the holidays that are coming up. Like, I know Christmas is coming up. So I kind of wanted to base a look around that, but a wearable Christmassy look. And we're kind of bringing that in pretty far towards the inner corner. And we're just going to flick whatever we have left on the brush kind of where the V is. Just bringing it on the lid. And you can actually pick up a little more color and put it on that V outer corner. So and we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Just really getting into the socket. And then bringing it in that V down to the lid. <clears throat> this lighting my makeup looks terrible, but I'll show you different lighting after I'm done filming. <laughs> I feel like my face looks so oily, but it's not. Alright, then after you're done applying that, you're just going to grab a clean fluffy brush kind of blend any harsh edges and I'm taking the MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to kind of blend out any harsh, ed harsh edges and just make sure that that green blends in with the cocoa bear and the soba and I'm just lightly going over it. You don't want to go over it too hard because then you'll take away the color and we don't want to do that. We just want to blend any harsh lines. So we want to marry them together. And we want to do the same thing to the next eye, the other eye. A 
we're really just focusing on where those two colors meet. Okay. Then I want to grab my shader brush, large shader brush. And this is the large shader E60 by Sigma, and it looks like this. And I'm just going to pick up the color Naked Lunch, which is just like a pinky champagne color that has a little bit of um, sheen to it. I'm just going to pick that up with my brush and dab that on the center of the eye. So right here. I'm just kind of focusing on the um, eyelid. I'm just packing that on there. So all you're doing is tapping. And again, tapping on the other eye just on the lid. Okay. Next we are going to take a MAC 213 and I'm just going to get a little I'm going to use the MAC pigments, the new ones um, that just came out in the holiday collection in the Objects of Affection Pink Rose pigments. I did a video um, of it, just like my first impressions, the packaging, and all that that you can look for if you're interested. I'm going to grab the color Rose, and it's just um, a gold, a pink gold, I mean a rose gold color. Um, and they do carry this in their line, their permanent line. I saw it yesterday. So um, to make the pigment adhere or like stay put um, longer, I'm just going to take this contact solution and just like put a little tiny dot on my hand and just push my brush into it ever so slightly just so I can wet the pigment. I'm actually just going to take the back of the pigment stopper that it has in it and I'm going to use some of that color first before I dig into there so it should look like that. And I'm just going to press that in the center of the eyelid just to give us a little pop. I'm going to grab a little more because I was just getting any extra product that was on the little stopper thingy. And I'm going to go over where I just applied that pigment. Just pressing it on. Same thing to the other eye, of course. And it really gets on the brush. Okay. So just tap in that rose color on the center of the lid. Blend. I'm not digging. 
the green from the brown, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to blend some more, and I think I'm actually going to pick up a color to blend into it. I'm just going to pick up that Cocoa Bear again, just a tiny bit, so I can make sure that all blends. I kind of want this a little, like, smoked out. And the green isn't like, isn't the center of the attention. So I don't want the green to still weigh everything. So, just gonna blend that cocoa bear color. And already I'm starting to like it better as I blend. It just marries them together and it makes more sense. Okay, so, the next dye. Now I want to blend this color with my brow color. So what I like to do is grab the color vanilla or blank type, um, which is just a matte white color, um, and I like to grab a little tiny bit of soba, which was the first transitional color that we have. And I just like to go over just where that color, the first color, the transition color soba begins, just so I can get any harsh lines that that color. Put down. I want to make this more smoky. Um, so as you can see, it's not as smoky as I want it to be right now. So I'm gonna grab this color. Do I want? Hmm. Decisions. I'm gonna grab the color Bitten by Makeup Geek. And it's just a red, burgundy, whoops, not that, right here, burgundy, um, matte color. And I'm just going to pop that right into this outer V. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I needed something to tie. Okay, and again, the outer V, I'm just pushing that in there, just pressing it on that outer V. I like experimenting with colors, um, I don't do it enough, I just started to actually, before I used to just do neutral colors, and anyone can wear a neutral color, but it's fun to start trying new colors, finding things that work, and actually you can wear any color, you just have to make sure the colors that you add into it, um, tie up the look and that's what we did right now with the bit and so now I'm just going back with the fluffy brush that's clean well I used it on other stuff but um doesn't have too much product in it and I'm just blending out that harsh line that we just laid the bit and down so and gosh the lighting in here oh it's natural lighting but it's just 
It looks like my face is so shiny and it's not like, I don't know. I need awesome lighting like everyone else. So again, I'm just swirling or doing circular motions. All right, I like that, I like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna start the bottom eye. And I'm gonna use the same fluffy brush right here. And I'm just going to grab that Cocoa Bear color. Uh, actually, I'm gonna grab Soba first, which was the first transitional color. I'm just gonna pop that on my brush and I'm gonna kind of stay close to the lash line, but I don't mind if it gets down. Oops, I'm not even in it. And I'm going pretty far in to my inner corner. I just want to make sure that this color that we have right here goes with that. And now on to the other side. Oh. doing is just lightly going back and forth and I just kind of want to darken it up a little bit on the corner so I'm going to grab that dome utility brush that we packed on the bitten with and I'm also just going to grab a little bit of bitten on the brush and just focus it on the outer corner of my bottom lash Next, I just want to um, I was going to, but I don't think I will. I was going to grab another pigment, and I'm tempted, but I think we're going to we're going to just skip that. So I'm going to grab nylon, and I'm just going to kind of brighten up the inner corner. So nylon is just a frost, I believe. Yep, it's a frost. Looks like that. So I'm just going to take it on a pencil brush. No, Kredam. No. My dog. And I'm just going to pop that right here. Just to brighten that up a little bit. And it'll really tie the look together. And if you have close set eyes, it'll really um, make your eyes appear wider. I don't have close set eyes, but I just like to do this on my looks, on most of them. I like to just brighten up the inner corner. It just feels like it ties everything together. Okay, now we are going to do eyeliner, mascara. I will unzoom, get out of this crazy lighting that makes my face look oily. And... That'll be the end of it, end of my video. Okay, so I'm using the Kat Von D liner in Trooper. It looks like that. Yeah. I'm just going to line my upper eyelash, my upper lash line. This week I've been wearing eyeliner when I do wear makeup, but prior to this week, I really wasn't, which was, when I first started wearing makeup, I wasn't into eyeliner. I mean, for my wedding, the lady had done my eyeliner and she said, it ties the look together and I just wasn't a fan of eyeliner, but 
I became a fan a few years ago, I guess. And I started wearing it, and then just recently, I was like, eh, kind of over eyeliner. But now, I'm starting to wear it again. So, my point to that is, makeup is always changing. You know, our looks are always, we're always reinventing ourselves, always looking for new things, old things. So, I'm really digging the um, eyeliner again. Okay, so. Sorry, I'm just making sure. Not my eyeliner. It's actually thicker right now than I normally wear it, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. What is going on right here? Oops. <laughs> you probably haven't seen at all me eyeline me lining my eye because this mirror has been in the way. Okay. Should shake this. Shake it off. I wonder if they come out, if anyone has this same pencil, like, well, water, liquid, not liquid, not water, liquid pen for eyeliner, but in the color brown, you know, I don't always want to wear black. Like I wish this was brown right now. I mean, it looks great black, but I do wish it was brown. I just like it would be softer. Let's go crazy. Whatever. Why not? I'm gonna smudge this out. Smudge-ish. Smudge-ish is out. What color is on there? I need to clean my brushes. Okay. I always say I'm gonna do it today, I'm gonna do it today, and I don't. Okay, I'm using Mysterious, which is just a matte dark brown by MAC, and I'm using it on an e.l.f. Smudge brush. Ooh. So it's this color there. And I am just going to smudge that eyeliner out because I don't want black. I hope that it doesn't take away from. Ooh, that's better. That's so much better. It's softening my look but still giving like a sultry, pretty eye was what I wanted. So it kind of softened it a little.
It's just my personal preference. Like, I'm working with some fun colors for the holidays, and black is nowhere in this look. So, I just didn't feel like the black was appropriate. Goodness, I'm not even in the camera. You can skip this step if you want to. I bet you this video is going to be long. I'm not the greatest with technology, so I have yet to learn how to edit. I know like a few things, but gosh, I'm not in the camera. Feel free to laugh. Okay. We are getting there. I just, I should have never put that black eyeliner. Okay, and since I did kind of take away from the star of the show with smudging that out, I kind of just want to reapply some rose, that pigment that we applied on the center, and just pop it on there again to kind of give focus to this bad boy. Yeah. Okay. Let's speed this movie along. This tutorial along. No one has forever to just sit in front of the computer and watch me mess up and fix it. You know all that shenanigans. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the rest that's on this brush. Um it's a little picking it up. Um, right in the center of my bottom lash line. Just for a little oomph. You could skip that step, of course. You could skip any of these steps. It's up to you. Alright. And I'm just going to curl the eyelashes. One of my twins just woke up. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Curl the other. Goodness, my face looks so oily. I promise you it's not. Wouldn't dig that too much. So, and I'm just using my drugstore, the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. Nothing too fancy. And we're doing that to the next one.
a little bit of mascara up there. Then the lower lashes, don't forget that. That's muy importante. I just want to beef up my eyelashes a little more so I'm gonna use this awesome sample thingy that I got and it is in full and fabulous and the brush looks like that it's huge Okay, now we're gonna just spritz the face, and it's probably gonna make it look more oily. <laughs> but I promise I'm not. And I'm using the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. Whew, I'm just gonna wait for that to do its thing. Oh! You probably want to see some lipstick on these lips. So, without further ado. <laughs> We're getting there. Should have used lip liner, but I'm a rebel. Okay. Okay, now that my chill setting spray has chilled out. I'll zoom in. Wait, zoom in. Okay, as you can see, I got a little bit of, what do you call it? Mascara. Duh. So, yeah, should have took that off. But I hope the colors are picking up. My face looks so oily. Yes, I am in. Just a lazy shirt. Let me see. Okay. 
so goodness this lighting <laughs> I promise you my face is not oily like wait okay so that is the look that's the finished look guys um, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial I know it was long I was just kind of winging it doing my own thing so um, and that lipstick is Ruby Woo um, if you're interested goodness um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, leave me some comments and let me know what tutorial you'd like next um, also if you can give this video a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon bye